Hey there, it's Andre from Chakra UI and welcome back to the third episode of Chakra Shorts. In this video, we'll be going deeper into theme customization and more specifically semantic tokens. Semantic tokens allow you to change the value of a token based on the environment. Chakra UI is using CSS variables which can change based on a CSS condition. For example, a color token can have a different value based on the color mode. On the screen, we have a button for changing the theme and a card. As you can see, the card has a purple background and a light purple text. If we press the button, the card changes to a red color and the border radius of the card changes as well. To make this work, we are using the previously set semantic tokens defined in the theme, so we can use these tokens anywhere across the application. So let me show you how it's done. So let's set up the project. First things first, well, let's import the VStack component from Chakra UI to vertically align the button and the box. Then we'll have the button component, the box component, and to change the color theme, we'll be using use color mode from Chakra UI as well. To change the color mode, we're going to use the use color mode, like I said previously, and we're going to use the toggle color mode function in that hook. Now I'll start adding the needed elements. Firstly, I'll wrap the whole content with a V stack. I'll set the padding to 8 and the spacing to 6. Then I'll add a button element, which will be named change theme. This button will have an on-click event, which will toggle the color mode. So now if we click the button, the color mode should change to dark. Nice. Next, I'll add a box element and I'll set the padding to 4. Then I'll add the text. And there we go, we set up the project. Next on the agenda is to extend the theme, so let's go ahead and import extend theme from Chakra UI. Then I'll create a constant called theme and I'll extend the theme. So let's start adding the semantic tokens. First, we'll add some colors. I'll start by adding the color for the text. I'll call this text. And for the default color, we'll be using purple 200. And for the dark mode, I'll be using red 200. The next semantic token that I'll add is the card. So the default will be purple 900. And the dark will be red 900 as well. That'll be it for the colors, so I'll override some other things as well to show you all the magic that you can do with Chakra. I'll be overriding the shadows, so on the dark mode we won't have any shadows, so it looks better. The default will be large. And on dark mode we will have none. And like I mentioned in the start, I'll be changing the border radius based on the color mode, so let's go ahead and do that. It'll be done only for the card. On the default, we'll have small. And on dark mode, we'll have large. So now let's implement our custom theme into the chakra provider. We'll be using the theme prop and we'll pass in our theme. There are still no changes, but if we scroll up and go ahead and click on the box element, we can start using our custom tokens. For the shadow, I'll be using card. For the border radius, we'll be using card as well. And for the background, card as well. So now you can see the card change the color. So let's do the same for our text element as well. We'll put the color to text. There we go. So now if I click on the button, the colors changed based on our semantic tokens. And that's it. I hope you guys start implementing semantic tokens into your Chakra UI project. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.